Okay, I missed a good opportunity again to show you a video of what happens when you have a front shaft seal leak and how to make it seal again so you can recharge the system. And this is one of those cases. Since I've made several of those videos before, it's not that bad, but I'll run you through the scenario. Uh, body shop, front end accident, new condenser. So the system comes in, no refrigerant in it. They put a new condenser. Now they drive this vehicle. Either it stays in-house and gets done in-house. In this scenario, they're calling me in to do it. Or they drive this vehicle down the block to your general repair station or repair shop. And uh, they're going to tell them to charge it up. Your employee hooks up his big R&R &R machine and it says it, pa it fails the vacuum text. It says there's a leak. But the technician can't find the leak. And they're going to say, well, maybe the damaged new condenser, maybe the O-ring seals at the connector. But in this case, it was pulling down to about 29.9 inches of vacuum. Right now, you see we're going into the microns. And it would not go below that. But you could not hear anything. And uh, I, I got die in there. Well, what I eventually ended up having to do, I could not reseed it like you've seen in some of my other, other videos where I use nitrogen and I hit it with a little pressure and I bring it up to 200 PSI, that sometimes reseats the lip seal. So the lip seal moves over, it attaches to the shaft, it makes a seal, gets pushed back in the lid. Sometimes that works. Other time, in this case, I had to put some refrigerant in the system, like five ounces, run the system for about one or two minutes, and that gets some oil and that heats up the lip of the seal that gets some oil pushed up onto the lip of the seal to where it attaches to the shaft. And then sometimes it will reseat as we did right here. I now can pull a vacuum and I think hold a vacuum. Let's let me not talk before I finish the video. Oh, it's not now. It's now not pulling a vacuum. So I got to play with this one some more. Uh, but as you can see, it just like stops right there. And, and the lips, it's strong enough to hold this amount of vacuum, but not strong enough to completely take and hold a defect. It actually is losing, almost losing some. So I may have to do something. I gotta grab my recovery machine again, have my tank out here, and I might do a really, really old fashioned method of using refrigerant at a vacuum level before it gives up its vacuum and recharge and recover recharge and recover with vapor vacuum a couple times so i could get this one charged because there's nothing wrong with the compressor and there's nothing wrong with the seal under pressure there's only something wrong with the seal under vacuum only it has nothing to do with the reliability or how long the system is going to last some compressor manufacturers just have this problem unfortunately so i'll be back I hope you understand what I just explained on this kind of scenario with my previous videos that I've made with lip seals on the compressor shaft seal and how to receipt them if you want to get the job done. All right, see you, because this is a fairly new vehicle. As you can see, this is a 2018 uh, YF vehicle. And uh, that's about it. Sorry I missed the opportunity to show you what I was exactly seeing from the very beginning. See you guys.